Welcome to TCS. This is our showroom introduction. We've got a UK registered, US imported, with a clean title, 1970 Oldsmobile Delta 88 convertible. This one is a custom job. She's a 468 cubic inch, which is 7.7 .7 litre rocket V8. Uh, Oldsmobile was part of the GM family, same as Chevrolet and Pontiac, etc. Uh, the um, gearbox is a 200R4, which is uh, three speed with uh, the overdrive. Its um, color is cobalt blue metallic, which is beautiful, with a white power soft top and interior is been done in mist grey leather with blue piping uh, believe it or not since the complete rebuild at I'm told $60,000 this one is just under 300 miles on the clock now and it was a low mileage car that was used to do the resto mod uh, apparently at 28,000 miles on the clock when it was done so, uh, some quick stats. Uh, this one was uh, $3,708 base price new, which is now $30,000, which is crazy, because you could pay $25,000 for a new Fiesta, Ford Fiesta nowadays. Uh, so that was cheap. Um, there was only 3,095 of these built, so they're very rare. Uh, weight is 3,390 pounds, which is about 1,550 kilograms, which is quite light. Uh, for one of these big beasts. Uh, originally it was 250 horsepower. Uh, we don't know what the current brake horsepower is because it's been resto modded. I would say it's 350 plus. Uh, we are going to get it on a dyno to uh, get it tuned and also find out what the power is. Uh, but I can tell you I've been selling cars now for over 25 years, 30 years and uh, 15 years of American car sales and this car's probably uh, got me the most attention when I've driven it, fueled it, and uh, went to the car wash to uh, get a hand car wash done recently. So uh, if you want a lot of attention, if you want to be unique at the car show, uh, she's got five seat belts. Uh, if you want to take the grandkids in her, she's extremely comfortable, useful car to drive. Uh, not too bad to drive. Um, uh, it, it, she is big, yes, um, but manageable, uh, especially if you had these sort of cars before. So uh, rest restoration was done in the US uh, of cost of $60,000 plus the cost of the car, so God knows what the final bill was. Um, so originally it was a 445 CI, so uh, 400, 445 cubic inch. Uh, this one's been bored out to 468 cubic inch and has a mild cam. It had a complete engine rebuild with the boring. Uh, new pistons, oil pump, heads, camshaft, which is a mild cam. Um, so it's got a little bit of a lumpy tick over due to the uh, performance cam. Uh, we've got um, uh, electronic ignition. We've got uh, a billet distributor, Elderbrook manifolds and covers, March air cleaner. Um, chromed, uh, polished belt pulleys, as you will see when we open up the engine bay. We've got a uh, Magnaflow uh, mufflers on exhaust, a three core al aluminum radiator with electric twin fans, a one piece uh, aluminum drive shaft, a new 3.55 limited slip diff with posi slip, new suspension, lowered, uh, 20 inch mag wheels so it looks modern uh, we've got a Dakota digital dash uh, with analog clocks she's uh, MOT and road for license exempt because she's over 40 years old in fact she's uh, 53 years old uh, documents include the title in the US the window sticker owner's manual uh, we've got um, the consumer info book from new, uh, a copy of the US title, import papers, V5, DVLA documents. Uh, it would have had an MOT to get it through the initial import process. So let's just check out the roof. We'll um, get the power roof down shortly. So it's a new white roof with a glass rear screen. So no worries about that cracking. Um, retro steering wheel, 
the dash looks pretty standard apart from when you start looking at the gauges it's got nice modern ones that work so we missed grey leather interior with blue piping uh, nice bench seat the front there it is split between the left and right and then in the back we've got three lap strap belts so you can get five people legally into this vehicle uh, we have had the air conditioning charged recharged and that was blowing out cold yesterday uh, it's just a few modifications to do to the relays and wiring to make sure that the fans cut in with the air con original radio haven't got that working yet but we um, would assume most people will want something modern put in I would recommend putting something in the glove box so you've got uh, uh, plenty of options so the current mileage if we turn the ignition on so that's uh, coming up at 284 miles since the rebuild and 28,000 we are told since new there's the keys 50 bucks for the Delta 88 key fob. Part brake is a foot brake. There's your air conditioning controls, blower fan works, air con piping out cold, new compressor, all new pipes, which you'll see shortly. Um, as the soft top is new, or the headline is like new, no. uh, same with the sun visors. Uh, let's take a quick look in the boot before we go to the business end so the soft top coming down will take up a little bit of room in the boot still got a good size boot still get your golf clubs in there if that's what takes your fancy just got to now work out how to do the boot with one hand there we go we've done somehow so it's all lined out in the back here You've got the tonneau cover to go over the soft top, which just lays over it. And another mud flap there, sorry, um, carpet mat. Uh, that box in there is for this and for, um, I believe, for these boot trimmings. It's all nicely painted underneath. All the badges and the chrome are all nice. She's really clean underneath, as we'll see in a minute. Right, let's give her a little start up let's hear the exhausts the exhausts are loud um, it is after all custom moth so let's hear the exhaust
right, let's go for the roof. So, ideally with the engine running, so you don't flatten the battery, we've got a hood down button here, just underneath the, the uh, clock and above the radio. And all we do now is push that button to power and just wait until it gets to the bottom. Job done, let go. So let's do a new walk around. Now she's topless. Got a leaf falling on the bonnet to get off. Right, so we've now got a topless 88, Delta 88. Like all these big coupes and convertibles, you sit right in the centre, which I'm sure is why it gives you such a comfortable, even balance ride. with the roof down uh, and as it's summer it is well you need a cap and you need some uh, sun cream kept in the glove box but what a comfortable car to drive absolutely fantastic that's the view for the driver uh, it's got a loud horn on it let's hear the horn so that was off of a train apparently have on a Delta 88, a train haul. So there we go, 1970, US import, $60,000 build I'm told, a uh, huge 7.7 .7 V8 engine with some MagnaFlow exhausts, just 300 miles since the rebuild, she's good to go for the summer, get in quick, be the ultimate car show attendee this year, 2023. Uh, thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe.